Uh, Mrs. DeBruzzo, I'm Ed McMahon, and we're Ed signing up You're people Ed for. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My friends, I gotta hit you with some truth. The entertainer Ed McMahon never worked for Publishers Clearinghouse. He never showed up at the doorsteps of people handing them out these big checks. He was never in any of these commercials. This is a false memory experienced by myself and many other people. And as you know, it is a Mandela effect. Mr. Murphy, Ed McMahon, uh, we're starting up. No, Woo! no, 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 no. Dreams no. really do be come it, true. Be it the now, clips of that commercial show people generally being excited for Ed McMahon to show up at their door. And although he's offering some complete other product, they're excited in the sense like they're about to have their lives changed and like they're going to win something big. Now, why would that be? When in fact, Ed McMahon never handed out checks and never was associated with Publishers Clearinghouse, never had his face printed on the envelopes as so many people remember. And those envelopes are a big one too, my friends. A lot of people think they remember seeing like a drawing of Ed McMahon, like an outline of him on these envelopes for Publishers Clearinghouse, when in fact that never actually happened. Do you remember seeing one of these envelopes? A lot of people talk about a commercial from 1994 where McMahon actually shows up and hands a woman a check, actually presents it to her. However, many people have gone out on the internet and searched for that video and they cannot find it. They don't seem to believe that it exists after looking for it. There's also a clip from the Golden Girls. There's a clip, you'll see Betty White, you'll see uh, they're getting all excited. They get a phone call like they won something and then they talk about Ed McMahon as if culture made these references in multiple places that he was the guy that would bring you these big checks and let you know that you won all this money. Check it out. And that's only one thing. There was references that are found in Roseanne, Who's the Boss, Boy Meets World, and other shows and such forth from the time and the era in which people mention Ed McMahon as if he was the guy who brought these checks and gave you these big prizes, but he just never was. And my friends, there are some Mendel effects that aren't that believable and are just a little bit weird. And then there's those really creepy ones, like the Fruit of the Loom one and the Tinkerbell one. Those two really trip me out. And I just found out about this one, although it's like an OG Mandel effect. It's been around for a couple of years, but it just smacked me. And I don't know why it smacked me out of nowhere, why I finally heard about it. Maybe something changed in our reality or somewhere else. But I swear Ed McMahon brought those checks for Publishers Clearinghouse. He brought you that noise. He would knock on your door and tell you that you were going to receive $10,000 every week for the rest of your life because you bought into their great pyramid scam. And the fact is... That never happened. And he was not involved with them in any way. My friends, I think you'll also like the video up here. Make sure to check it out. And I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you again. And as always, adios amigos.